all right guys so uh, yep while well, the other video is loading i'm going to you know make a second video yep everything co goes fast <laughs> yeah so okay so last time we started on level three we didn't go through it and i was i don't know the last video took too long so we couldn't finish uh, many levels we finished only level one level two but hopefully by today we or or by now we'll be done with so many okay so to solve level 3, we need also, just like the other one, we need to find uh, a link or URL that passes through level 4, okay? So again, open page source, right click, page source, get our page source, uh, let's type, what we need is, let's type level 4, we should find something that passes to level 4. Okay, so we can't find anything, anything for level 4. Close that, we don't need it. Let's read the script. Body, okay, the function pass here again. Function pass variable pw and engine ape pw in color. Okay, so message please enter password. If it was pw, then move Windows location. Uh huh, okay, okay. Okay, so this one will be a little bit hard. So you see these numbers? You see this plus sign, right? So window.location.href the uh, equals string from car code. Okay, this one the, the location means this. Actually, yeah, it means this link, the link. So it's saying put the this link without the one L three L. Put this link slash add this code 9798114101 and then add dot .ehtme the sorry dot .ehtm the extension okay so some people might just add the numbers and then write dot .htm and enter so I'll give you an error because that's wrong these numbers are unicode numbers unicode means you have a letter let's say you have letter a and it's hiding under the letter under the number 60 I believe uh, under the letter 60 there are each letter B is hiding under I think 120 so uh, from 1 to 60 is capital letters and and uh, from 6 to 120 is the low letters okay so to find what is A uh, I mean sorry find what 97 represents, what 98 represents, what 114 represents, we, we need to decode this unicode, right? So decode is the opposite of unicode. We break down this code. Um, there are many different ways to do that. So there is way with Python, there is way with websites. I'll be showing you both ways, okay? Let's do first way. Let's type in Python. And I will be using the second way, which is online. And yeah, any, any generators. So go, let's go do online first. Open new type. Go to Google. So type. Oh, my bad. Type. You know, type base six four. That's the Unicode of this. You know, that's the Unicode decode. Hit and online. Hit enter. All right. Hit enter. Open this one base sixty four decode dot org. Okay, I'll type it for you. you find I mean, I'm pretty sure you'll find the link in the description I'll make. Okay, so I put the the code here. Uh, where was it? This code. Copy. Paste. And let's see tf eight. It's this one called ASCII. Okay, with numbers, it's called AC, ASCII, sorry, and press decode. Should give you the answer, I believe. Oh, um, no, I'm, I'm stuck at that. Let's see. I'm, I'm not good with online websites, trust me. And I'd say we type it without string, I mean, without comma. Decode again. That sucks, you know. You can just type. Go back to Google. Oh my bad. Go back to Google. Ugh. Go back to Google. Type this. Decoded. Decoded. 
should give you a good answer to uh should give you a good answer right there. Not like this one. For example, this website. I'll put this website on the description if it works. Uh let's take let's take this number again, copy, paste them, convert source data. Uh again that's wrong. So just ignore it. Do that other way I'll be teaching you. Go to Python, don't do the second way, ignore it. We're not doing the second way. Alright, just ignore it. Go to python.org. Go to download. And uh, Windows. Download. Windows. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Go back, go back. Go to downloads, then go to Windows Installer. Windows binary does not include source. Click on that. Or you can just choose your, your platform and then OK, same thing. And then save it and then install. Okay, save. And install, I already have it, so I need to. You might find a shortcut on your desktop as this, or just type Python. You find this one, the first one. Or you can just type uh, CMD, which will open up the command prompt. Or you can type, or for Windows XP users, just go to start, all programs, accessory, accessories, and command prompt. Okay, oh, same thing will open for you. If you were using uh, Mac, I guess uh, on the right top corner, you'll find search button. You can search for terminal and this, do the same thing. Type on Python and it opens up after installing after installing the this setup file. Uh, after installing this, okay, go to command prompt or terminal, type Python. Should open this, okay? So type numbers equal giving now variable numbers. Name it equal. Uh, let's see. Uh, put the hmm, put comma. I mean quote marks. Put the number on. Right click. Paste. Dot split. Okay. Comma. This is comma. This one is comma. Hit enter. Then type letters. Equal practice okay chr parentheses int x close for x in numbers close I'll type two two quotations dot join letters hit enter so it gave us now the decode of this number it says a B R A E. Mm. Find it. Type A B R A E. Take a note of it. Copy it. Go to your source code. So go back. back. This is plus this Unicode. Let's put it. Plus this Unicode. And then add HTM. Dot HTM. Congrats. Level 4. If you have any trouble with this, you are free to, you know, you know, unbox me, comment, or anything, I'll be able to help you out. Level 4. Click on here to go. Password, put password on level 4. You can't go view the source code page. Let's type, let's type password, there's no password, pass, there's no password, username, username level 5, there's no level 5, all these are failed, so we can't find information if the source code, then no worries, close source code, there are some websites that work with JavaScript, there are some more, some doesn't work with JavaScript, so let's go to Firefox settings, open options, Go to let's see. Go to security, the privacy applications. Con okay, hold on a second. There's a lot. Okay. Go to content and disable JavaScript. Okay. Disable JavaScript. Click here again. Now click on the link. We passed level five. Go back to setting and enable JavaScript. Okay. 
So level five. This is your level five. We're going to find We need to find something that we can pass to level six. So open page shows. Type password. Okay, we can find password. So save. Library. Try again. Goes back. Save as dot htm. If uh, so here giving you a hint. Say save as helps a lot. Okay, so okay, Windows location. So yeah, it says Windows location dot this URL and add save as dot htm. Okay, that's easy. <laughs> so add here save as dot htm. That's all, I guess. Let's see. Okay, yeah, that's all. That passed level six. Let's see how long we took. Okay, one more level, and then we start this video. Continue the next video. Okay, so level six. We need to pass level six now. We need to find also a URL that we can pass through it. View page source. And let's type password. Yes. Well, you see. Uh, Password, there's no password, there's pass, I guess, yeah, there is pass. Hacker test, this your hacking level 6, source, I'm giving you a source here. Dot G, J, S, J, S. So we have no information, but we have a source code, or a source link, okay? When you have source, that's pretty much important, okay? Seek source, P, S, S, W, D, J, S, language, JavaScript. Copy the source, and let's give it a try. Let's put it after, after the slash. Here, okay, okay, I'm giving you the password. So, saying, so giving you now a pass equal prompt password. Okay, so saying if the password is exactly this, then go to level 7. Okay, so refresh, put the password, and it's okay. Congrats, you know, you're level 7. Okay, so now we're done with. I got so many or just three or four levels stay tuned for the next video we'll continue from level 7 to level 10 and that's all for now okay see you guys